Welcome, 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 everybody. Thank you for being here. We do appreciate it. This is our bi-weekly sales meeting. Mr. Uh, looks like John is getting connected to the audio, so we'll uh, give that a minute to connect. But uh, today's a, a little bit special in that we're going to take a field trip, some of us. Uh, we're going to go get some free lunch, and we're going to go check out a new construction build. Uh, all of the agents have been invited to visit this property in Carrollton. Uh, it's a townhouse community. Uh, looks like the prices are going to be between 250 and 280, which is a really sweet spot, I think, for a lot of uh, maybe younger or first-time buyers. Um, I think it's uh, it's going to be an attractive development going forward. It's right on 17 before you get into uh, you know the food line area of Carrollton. So, looking forward to going to see that and getting some free lunch. So that'll be fun. Um, so we're going to leave here probably around 1230-ish and head that way. If anybody wants to join us, feel free to meet us there. Um, but as is our custom, we'll start things off with uh, core services. So uh, Dawn, I know you've got something to share. Just so a little, how about ladies first. little tidbit. Hey, everybody. It's good to see all these faces as always. I just want to let you know, um, in the past when I worked with clients who had certain breeds of dogs, we couldn't help them because our insurance companies didn't write against for certain breeds because of liability issues. We now have an insurance company who's what they call breed blind. So they've changed their underwriting guidelines so that there's no issues with any breeds. So if somebody has a pit bull or a German shepherd or any of those breeds that they don't like, then I can offer them a policy, which is big because in this area, for some reason we have lots of pit bulls. So from moving forward, we should be able to help the clients if they have any of dogs on them that used to be on the restricted breed list. And the company, it's safe though, it's a Liberty Mutual company and they're fairly competitive in this area. I run my policy. So hopefully that's a good thing for moving forward with clients with pets that usually weren't allowed on insurance policy. So breed blind. Breed blind. Love it. Yeah, several Love states, it. I think New York, PA, and I forget where else, they're adopting laws that say doesn't matter what the breed is, you can't discriminate unless they have a bite history. And this insurance company, of course, if you have a dog with a bite history, they're not going to provide insurance. So, but other than that, breeds are good to go. What do those people do who are looking for insurance and can't get it because of their crazy dog? Well, there are some insurance companies out there that will write. Sometimes they will either waive liability, which says we'll insure you, but if your dog does some damage, we're, you're responsible for it. Okay. Some okay. don't care if they, if they have to move treatment. So there are insurance companies out there that want to cross there with a okay. history and has a pet of uh, insurance company that would help with that. So, Interesting. Yep. Good to know. There you go. Free blind. Free blind. <laughs> hey, Brian, what's happening at Sage, my friend? Okay, good, good. Thanks, Brian. Uh, Let's see, so today, all the agents that came in get one of these. I know we're- Right on time, Ms. Marbella. Yeah. Right on time. She made it, all the agents. And then I'll pass the rest of them off to you for your tournament. You're having. Oh, okay. oh, you put one on my desk. Put one on your desk. Exactly. <laughs> I'll box. probably end up with the whole box though, right? <laughs> nice little tumbler there. So awesome. See. Yeah. There you go. Uh, That's awesome. We are having a, a door prize today of uh, Wawa. So if anybody needs gas, <laughs> that's a good yeah. one. Yeah, 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 that's a good one. Right. Oh. So that that's the the prize, and we're only doing if you come in the office, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, so 50, 50 shot right 50, 50 now. Shot. Rock paper scissors. Yeah. Yeah. The eyeballer. <laughs> <laughs> Rock paper scissors. That's but, uh, let's see. We are having a class next Wednesday, 1031 exchange by the rules, uh, July 20th, Wednesday, one to three. So two hours of CE or PLE. I know Stacia recently sent that yeah, email out that again. Stacia. We'll send it out again, of yeah. course. But uh, but just as uh, an introduction, 1031 is where an investor might sell one property and avoid paying taxes on the sale of that property by moving that equity into another property right away. You have 45 days or something, 45 days. So uh, it's a really popular program for investors. Yeah, two commissions, so they're gonna sell and buy. So yeah. they, they can't wait more than 120 days to close. So it's not something that's gonna take them a long time. Yeah. yeah. Two checks. Two checks. <laughs> uh, payday since the last meeting, Sharon, I see you on the screen. So thank you. Thank uh, you. I see, uh, 
let's see, I see, uh, who do I see out there? Well, I'll just call the names. I saw Shane on there. Yeah, 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 Shane. Shane's on there. Shane's yeah, on yeah, there. thank I you, see, thank you. Uh, let's see, Dave the Seeker? Uh, no. Dave, no. no. Linda Town? Uh, no, this is in New York, I think. New York? Yes. New York, yeah. Adrian? Very cool. Very cool. That's Betty. That's a lot of payday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just since the last meeting. So that's wow. fantastic. Wow. Let's see. Yeah. Um, so numbers were great. 86% for the month. So that's a great capture rate. Thank you. We're, we're tracking at 74 for the year. So we'll okay. soon pass Williamsburg. <laughs> now you're talking. Uh, yeah. So, um, <laughs> Oh, we have a new lady too. Started Monday, Lisa Saxton. Oh, good. So hopefully, she'll be able to help us out immensely. Good, so, good, good. Uh, so growth yeah. there. And uh, did anybody have any questions or anything going on? I know you're going to that. that yeah. thing. I've got to go back for closing, so I'll miss the tour. Yeah. 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 Sounds That's like funny. a good thing to go to. Looking forward to it. There's no inventory, right? So this sounds like. Yeah, That's new construction solution. development, 210 yeah. units at 250,000. I think it's going to be a sweet spot in the economy or in our in our local market. So, yeah. Uh, not to mention they're giving us free lunch. So nice. Yeah, we, we've got to at least go say hi. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so how are we going to do the drawing? So, uh, uh, we can flip a coin. You guys want to flip no, a no, coin? No, I got a wheel. You got a wheel? I do. All right. Wheel it. Oh, this so thank you. Wheel thank of fortune. You for your help. I do have a wheel. <laughs> wheel of wheel. fortune. Look at that. Are y'all ready? Yeah, let's yeah, do it. That's awesome. Best out of three. No, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, Bella. Bella. All right. We're the winner. Winner, winner, winner. So, John, 9.1% inflation rate released this morning, the highest since the 1980s. What is that going to do to our interest rates? It's interesting. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, the initial knee jerk reaction this morning was very negative uh, as far as rates go. Um, so, the, and just to be clear, the expectation for the inflation numbers is around 8.8 to 8.6. And it came in at like, no, at nine, at 9.1. Um, so it's not, you know, not a huge difference there. It is higher than what they expected. But I think what, what they're concerned about is, to me, what's the Federal Reserve gonna do now? Like, so are they saying, well, what we're doing is not been enough, meaning the, the recent Fed uh, rate hikes so I think the market is basically saying, okay, well, maybe they're going to be more aggressive. So initially we had this knee jerk reaction, stocks got crushed and so did bonds this morning, but then there's been a rally in the bonds the second, actually this second half of the morning. So we've really recouped all of the losses, meaning on the bond side of things this morning. So not really much of an impact um, as far as uh, rates go right now. Um, we did have worsening pricing this morning as compared to yesterday afternoon, but I don't know if they're going to basically come back and improve that you know, later on this afternoon if these if this improvement sticks. So the key at this point is you can never judge anything like this on one month, right? Because it's all about what's the trend, and the market itself is priced in a certain amount of okay, rate hikes by the Federal Reserve, um, and. The, really the market is trying to, to digest the new information and determine what the Fed's going to do next and determine what's going to be needed to happen. And so to me, I, you know, I think we'll, we'll see what happens next uh, next month. I think that we're going to see some of these numbers start to come down a little bit as consumer demand starts to come down a little bit and rates have, are starting to bite because a lot of this data lags, right? So some of these recent rate increases are, is, or um, have, really sort of pull back some of the the little bit real estate market in some parts of the country and other other aspects of uh, consumer demand as far as we're seeing some pullback here so we'll keep an eye on that um but it doesn't seem to have a massive impact at least today so far okay um the um one thing i wanted to mention um is 
we went ahead and got uh, uh, Suffolk some of their own cornhole boards that can stay there so you guys can practice so you, get, so you guys can compete against the other offices uh, so you guys can customize them I just got some wood ones um, and so you guys can make them your own and um, put your stamp on it um, so hopefully that is uh, helpful the other thing I want to talk about and I, and I think we sent out the flyer on this but I think it's important that we um, you know, shout out from the rooftops that we kind of just rolled out a, a new program to help frontline workers to prosperity um, up until September 30th. So during this, the, usually the busier time of the year, we are currently giving a, a credit, a lender credit to cover the entirety of the origination charge for frontline workers. So that's for new loans going forward up until um, September 30th. So that's, just, that's doctors, nurses, teachers, Firefighters, law enforcement, and EMTs. Realtors. So if, if you, no, <laughs> I wish that'd be that'd be great. Yeah. So if you're any of those, I mean, it's like you know, if who's, who's a teacher? Who's not a teacher? Are you a teacher? I mean, you could say I'm a teacher. Yeah, you teach classes, Jason. So you, I mean, I don't know. You can make an argument there. Um, you know, Don teaches animals. She's a teacher. That's right, right Don. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so. I, I, yeah, but that, so that credit is for conventional loans and FHA loans that our origination charge is $1,299. So it's $1,300. So it's, it's not a little bit of money. It's a lot. And especially in this you know market where you're not getting closing costs most of the time, we're seeing a little bit, but I think it's a, it's a, it's a great thing. It's a lot of money that we're going to lose out on as far as that, those fees. Can you imagine if Long Foster said, Hey, no 295 fee for any of these people. Like, you know, yeah, that'd be great, right? Uh, but this is $1,300 that we're going to absorb for those loans just for this period of time. So I have two, two loans today I'm sending out disclosures on. And actually for this one, for um, this teacher, it I, this program had just came out. So she didn't even know she's gonna get this. So this is gonna be a big thing for her because she was, uh, it was tight on her cash to close. So for anybody, um, you, know, you guys can promote it yourselves. Anybody you think that, that is, you know, aware of these uh, or has is any has any of these jobs that we can try to um, help them out and utilize that program. So we're not trying to like build it into pricing. We're just trying to get be competitive and give give this credit as well. So does anybody have any questions about that program? What did you say, John? The, yeah, uh, the, the, good the idea. length of time was the, the period of time it starts. It's going till September 30th. It's it's, it's just starting now. Okay. I think it started like, I mean, really just rolled out like a end of last week, maybe. Okay. All right. Um, so I think it's, I don't know why doctors probably don't, are not ones that really need it, but I, I guess, uh, but you know, we're giving it to doctors, nurses, teachers, firefighters, law enforcement, EMTs. Now where it gets kind of um, questionable is like, okay, well, I have someone who's an x-ray tech, like they're not a nurse, technically they're not a doctor. So I don't know where they're going to get into the nitty gritty with if that's what if they're considered to be one of those two a healthcare professional you know not to say they don't deserve it i just i'm not you know i think we'll run into some of those questions as we go along we'll have to put up the flagpole i hate to you know offer something to people and then they say well i'm i'm that's the same thing i'm a you know a, a cna a certified nurse assistant is that right qualify so i'm, I'm you know we're kind of um playing it by year but um, I'll you know let you know once I get clarification on that. But it's definitely a good thing. Um, cool. Yeah, as far as just I always like to touch base really quick on rates. Uh, we touched base a little bit on them as far as inflation. Um, we are seeing kind of a, a, a kind of a plateau of rates. They've come back down a little bit. We saw some upward movement yesterday and, and the end of last week. But it, you know we, we're a little bit lower from the peak of where rates were about two weeks ago or a week and a half ago. Uh, we were about I mean, let's, say, let's say probably about two and a half weeks ago we're at the peak. So they've come down a little bit, maybe by about th three eighths of a point. So that hopefully that trend continues and hopefully we can kind of settle in to in the in like either in the fours. I would love to basically stay in the fours. Um, right now conventional still in the fives. But VAs with good credit is in, the, is in the mid to high fours. I would love to settle back into the fours. I think that would be a good sweet spot if we can maintain that. I don't know if that's going to be the case. I have a feeling 
government loans will probably be in the high fours, low mid, mid to high fours. I think conventional will be right around five to 5.25. I think that's where, where they're going to settle in. But um, I, I, you know, once we start touching 6%, 7%, you know, I think a lot of people get um, intimidated by those higher interest rate numbers. So I think fours and fives, I think it's more palatable. Uh, so that's kind of where we are right now. Again, it always depends on your situation. You know, VHDA, we're seeing rates you know, higher than that, you know, in that sixes and um, high sixes for investment properties. But again, still historically very low rates. Uh, we're just, uh, um, but the good thing is that we're slowing that trend of increase. We're starting to kind of mellow out a little bit. So, kind of want to mention that. So, and does anybody have any questions about that or anything else in general? Nope. Thanks, John. I see you guys the, tomorrow, uh, of course. Interest rates seem to be running in line with the gas prices. So they go up and they come back down a little bit. They go up and they come back down a little bit. So, yeah. I think you're I think you're onto something there. I think that is there is a correlation between those energy prices and um, the bond market. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Speaking of the market, let me share my screen here um, with uh, with y'all. Uh, let's see if I can find what I'm looking for. Yes, so you guys can see this, I hope. This is our latest rain update, June 2022 market summary. Um, I, I think, you know, this is a trend that's likely to continue uh, just because of the uncertainty and the volatility in the market. You know, the NASDAQ was way down this morning, like John had mentioned. Um, you know, a lot of people see that as their hedge if you will, that's where their investments are. That's where their 401ks are. Uh, and so when they see those things start to take a hit, they get a little more protective and risk adverse and stop spending as much money. And so that may be trickling into our housing market as well. So uh, we've got listings down almost 5%, closings down almost 15%, new construction sales down 12 and a half percent. That's the one that continues to surprise me because everywhere I look, I see new construction and I'm thinking, man, these builders, are they building these things and they're, what, are they not going to sell? Um, I would have expected because of the lag in new construction we've seen over the last decade and a half, that new construction would just be on the tear uh, for the foreseeable future. But it seems to be month after month now, new construction sales are down again. I guess surprises me uh, and pending sales down 15% uh, for the month of June, while the uh, median sale price is up 9%. So uh, the new median sale price for this uh, Hampton Roads area is $325,750. Um, so prices are, prices are definitely uh, going, going up. And so if I, I think I'm right, John, every 1% in interest rate affects your buying power or your, your qualifying power by about 10%. Um, and so where you could at 6% buy a $550,000 house, at 7%, you can only buy a $500,000 home. Uh, and so it's about a 10% impact on your buying power. And with the rates you know, being unstable, if they continue to go up, obviously our buyer pool gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Uh, the people who have uh, wanted to buy may end up just renting longer <coughs> or, you know, God forbid, living with their parents longer <laughs> than, uh, than they would like to, right? So, uh, so something to be aware of. Um, you know, the state of the economy is something that we can all educate ourselves on so that we're talking to prospective clients. They think we're smart, right? And so by knowing some of these numbers and some of these stories and some of the, the statistics, uh, I, I think you're, you set yourself up to present yourself in a very professional manner when you're talking to clients. Uh, because this is the kind of information that, you know, they, they read the headlines, but nobody ever explains it to them. Uh, and so if you, if you educate yourself, you can educate them. And I think that's what they really want. So any thoughts, questions, current concerns or comments? No, no, no. All right, gang. Well, we will let you go. You know where I'm going. I'm going to get free lunch uh, out on uh, Route 17 at that new build. So, uh, 
hope to see you there. And uh, that's it. That's it. It would take me too long to that's even try and get out of Norfolk to get there. Yeah, no, I wouldn't do it if I was you. I'm sure the uh, finger foods aren't worth it. No. Oh, and John, uh, I do want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, by the way. I know you're not going to be able to see this, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. Um, so uh, Debbie just texted me a picture of the first cornhole board that she's painted this morning. I don't know if you can see it. So anyway, it's a uh, it's a poor paint because that's that's what she does. Is it the painting? Is it like the technique from your um, office? Yes. Oh, yes. Works? I can't yes. see it. It's, yeah, it looks awesome. I love that. Yeah. So uh, so she's got one. She just did this morning, and uh, she'll do the other one this afternoon after Corey's doctor's appointment, and they will be absolutely beautiful when I bring them back on Saturday. So thank you for providing those for the office. Yeah, glad to do it. Thanks to Debbie for painting. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. We'll have to let her toss a beanbag or something. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a payday. Bye, guys.